And so for this video, we're going to be doing the good old Boros Blitz. This time instead, we're going with a Lurus focused build. Last time we did a um, Monastery Mentor and Bedlam Reveler build. This one instead, we're choosing to opt for one of Lurus Dream Den and then cutting our top end a bit. Having four Firewalkers, hoping to run into more prowess, and then having removal, abrades, crypts, and a one of engineered explosives just as a catch all. Hopefully, that's a good enough sideboard. Now let's go into the main board and explain a bit. So, like all of the prowess lists, we're trying to get down either Swift Spears or Soul Scar Mages on turn one and then roll out just a flurry of one mana or zero mana spells to pump them up and kill our opponents quick. We've got Manamorphose is basically a free spell that just says two mana, add two mana, draw a card. We've got Abbott as a redraw. We've got Bobble as a redraw and an enabler for prowess. We've got Myth Realized, which is an actually a very interesting card for the Boros build. Because not only will it trigger prowess on your smaller dudes, then whenever you play a non-creature spell, you'll put a counter on this thing. And eventually you get to the point where this has three, four, five, six counters on it. And then you can animate it and you've got a six, six all of a sudden that your opponent has to deal with. Now it is one mana, so they can deal with it with relative ease, but it's one mana. So worst comes to worst, you can get it back with Lurus. So let's take this build into a league, see how well we can do with it. Reveal the Lurus. And looks pretty good. It's a one lander, which isn't great, but it's got redraws galore. We will going ahead and be playing one of these bobbles on turn one. Well, that's not what we want to be doing. It's not terrible from the aspect of it gives us a redraw. So we have two chances at that land on turn two. Vantage Soul Scar Mage. Bobble. Always yield. Go ahead and put a stop on our opponent's upkeep. Because I'm assuming they're going to fetch here. Yep. See what they're drawing. Planes. So we're looking at Vance. Yep. Ouch. That's unfortunate. Go ahead and hit for two here. Blue green growth spiral. Cool. So meaning this is definitely Bant Field of the Dead. Or more commonly known as Bant Uro Pile. Cast this with Spectacle, trying to find ourselves more land. Would you look at that? We do indeed. Yeah, we could have seen what they were drawing there. My bad. It's a fairy. I want to see what you're drawing. Oh no, that's an arrow. So fairy bounces. It's not good for us, but not awful. So I know that they played out that planes. 
We have Uro plus Unknown in hand. Fetch for Sacred Foundry, I guess. Put that into play tapped. Draw a card, draw a card. Red, red, Abbott. Flips over Myth Realized. We'll go ahead and I guess we have to get a Sacred Foundry here and shock that in. So we can play this Myth Realized. This thing's going to be able to grow. The fairy gets up to two. So two metamorphos, three. Yeah, that's an arrow. They gain a life, put a card into play. Okay. Hmm. I'm not opposed to just going onto the creature heavy plan for a turn. Swift Spear, Soul Scar. Seal of Fire. Two damage to the fairy. Combat swing for five. You have path. Cool. Yeah, I'll gladly take another land. <laughs> they go down to sixteen. <laughs> They've got five unique lands. Okay, so they can do blue, blue, green, green now. If they fetch to put Earl, they don't have, but now they do. Then this will probably turn on Field of the Dead, knowing how this Uro list works. How many pillage effects in the sideboard? Zero? Zero. Oh, that's good for us. No additional land drop.
Okay. I don't know how big we're going to get here. Crash through is what we needed. Land fetch, get a mountain. Now we can love it art. Has force? <laughs> sure, buddy. there and so eight Damage has the path. Doesn't have the path. <laughs> there we go. Take him to negative six. Next on the draw was a land. Neat. <laughs> All right. Um, we can bring in paths. This is a way to deal with arrow. Or crypt. Both of those deal with arrow pretty well. Lava darts, mediocre, but not awful. Seal of fire can come out here. Um, light up the stage feels a bit slow. And then we'll just shave like so. And we also want an EE. -E. Just because EE -E on zero does a pretty good job at stalling zombies for a turn. I guess in actuality, we probably don't want paths. Let's drop a path, bring back in a myth. Just because myth is one of our threats. Just to say, seven spells in a turn, not bad. Although I guess it was six because Smith realized had one spell on it already. Either way, not bad at all. There you go. I'm assuming that they'll want to be on the play. It's a good old Bant Uro pile. Yeah, we'll reveal a Lurus. 
snap keep. We've got a crypt for when they play the Uro. We've got an Abbot to help us redraw. We've got a myth realized. What's not to like? Fetch and shock. Go with white. Play out the myth realized. And play out the torn mod script. Should have yielded to that. Oh well. We'll smack him for one. Not what we want to be doing with this card, but at the same time, with what our land base says, that's what we're gonna do. Sea Fairy. Bounce our myth realized. Yep. Fun. Play out Abbott. What do we see? A lava dart. I mean, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Green growth spiral, I'm assuming. With that, it might be an arrow. Okay. They're quite a ways away from arrow being active. So just because they can have the green, green, blue, blue next turn, they won't have the five additional cards. Just hit the nuts. Always yield to Abbott. Does opponent have the counter spell? The force of negation? And do you really want to be forcing myth realized? Okay, they do want to be forcing myth realized. Unfortunate that we hit that many lands. Hit 
hit opponent for eight. They have the path. Sounds good. Let's see. What are they going to be drawing if they don't crack this? Cool. If they don't crack this Misty, they'll be drawing a land. They're going to crack the Misty. Cool. So our threats are in exile. We can bring in Luris if we want. Not opposed to putting Luris into hand here. Just Luris into hand. Pass. Laris doesn't really get anything other than Bobble. Mystic Sanctuary, get back what path? Yeah. No, thank you. Now it gets back a Tormod script. If it resolves. I'm assuming that they have cryptic. Yep. Okay. Mystic Sanctuary picks back cryptic. So they technically have us in the soft lock at this point. Until we can play multiple threats in a turn. Play out this Blood Sand Mire past the turn. Opponent's at 20. But they don't have any threat. It's same as us. Go ahead and crack this. Oh. Dang. Fetch lands are useless. Good to note. Good to note. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Big Teferi. Yeah, they now have a threat. Hmm, how do we beat Big Teferi? We need our threat to stick. Our threat's not sticking. They have Cryptic. I need another threat. Because <laughs> they are drowning us and that field is free because they know that we can't fetch. So what they should do is crack field. They don't. Okay. Foothills pass. So what one two three one one two three one oh god they have double cryptic
counterbalance. Okay. Anamorphos. Get rid of the fairy. They have the path. I kind of sort of figured that they had the path. Hollowed fountains on the top of their library. Mystic Sanctuary, put Cryptic back, draw a card, untap two lands. And so at this point, opponent's looking for win con. So we know that they have cryptic. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. One is just looking for field of the dead or Say they have a soft lock. I'm just waiting for them to present us with something. Although, granted, this Teferi is about to just start doing work. Because I know that it's just going to be this over and over again as a soft lock. Yep. What do we have in the graveyard? Just singular lava dart? Okay. Eh. Smart man. I'm just gonna go ahead and concede they we're not winning they're not presenting us with a clock but at this point we're behind we're not gonna really win might as well just move on okay i don't disagree with how we boarded
<sighs> we just need a better start. Or more precisely, we need them to not have as strong of a stopping power of a start that they did. Because we had two turns where we were swinging with something that was six plus power. And they just destroyed us. Okay. So we've got <laughs> They didn't see the paths So we've got that going for us I would love to play first Reveal the Slurus And it's got two lands and an abbot We'll try it. It's not going to do us anything, but we'll try it. Because you can't play Abbot on turn two unless you're just willing to exile a card. Which, in all honesty, we might be. Does that Metamorphose crash through Lightning Bolt? Hmm. Have it just exile a card? What card do we exile? Hey, let's go. <laughs> so they'll have two here, which I'm not a fan of. That's a lot of love darts. Show me the path. No path, the opponent goes to 10. Seven, six, five, four, three. Yeah, I mean, we're missing the mountains to sack to lava dart, which is awkward. Uh, I should have bobbled there. So they can field us. I'm assuming. This is probably an Uro, though. Yeah. I want to go ahead and bobble. Mountain? That's actually a really good hit for us. You put in a plane so they'll have the path. We draw two. We 
These are all instants. not quite lethal okay they have the force to pitch and they have the path puts four into the yard for arrow White, white fields. Go ahead and pop all their stuff. Field happens. We'll get our last mountain. Opponents at nine. Ouch, that hurts. They go down to eight. Go ahead and crack this, get a sacred boundary to play tapped. Hopefully we will be able to get there. Nope. the deck as possible. Myth realized. We can just put a lore counter on it. Opponent's going in the think tank on this one. They've got two cards in hand. They exiled an arrow with their force of negation. I'm like, how did arrow get in the yard force?
So they did lose connection. That's not good. I hope they come back because we were having a good game. I don't think that they'd rage quit. There we go. They're back. So just MTGO didn't like that for some reason. Put Lars into hand, pass the turn. Yes, they can bounce with the fairy. That's fine by us. They've got exactly enough to have cryptic mana up. That'll be unfortunate. Okay, they do indeed bounce the myth realized. They fetch down to seven. Prime time. Yep. Consuming gets two field of the deads here. Makes four zombies. Yep, yep, yep. Our out is crash through slash okay it's realized get rid of that prime time yield to that Force pitching Aether Gust. No, I can't. I mean, we can still float the white. Did I stutter, opponent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your field of the dead triggers. Lava Darcha. One has got one card in hand. They go down to six, five, four. They'll need to leave back at least a zombie every turn. Mystic Sanctuary can put back Force of Negation. Not that scary of a card. So they have negation plus one unknown.
They can hit for six. They hit for four. Timely. They'll gain six life. That's it. That's not good for us, but that's not the end of the world for us either. White, white, one. Good old Mr. Catman. Which old... See, the issue is if they hit Uro. We need the card draw, though. You're gonna... Okay. Sure. Activate Myth Realized. Swing for five. I'm assuming this gets blocked. Yep. <laughs> so they have to leave a good amount back this time. Oh, no land drop. They can't. Sw you sure you want to swing? Okay. I'll take four, go to ten. Exile target black or red permanent. Okay. Hit you for 12. You couldn't swing with them all, opponent. Let's see, we would have drawn Swiss Spear. All right. Batch one is done. <laughs> God, I hate arrow piles. All right. Fun, fun. We're facing Gygax. Uh, it's got a myth realized. It's got uh, some stuff. Sure. We'll shock in. White myth realized bobble. Always yield. And put a stop on our opponent's upkeep. In case they're a Jund pile, I don't want them to be able to take whatever we would have drawn with the bobble. Hmm. Traverse deck. And they fetch with a Bloodstained Mire. Makes me think Jund Shadow here. Swift Spear, that's a pretty fast card. Bobble of them their own. A second bobble of their own. Seems like a pretty good start for opponent here.
They smack us for three. They see what we're drawing off of Bobble, and then I'm assuming they're going to let our Bobble effect resolve, and then see what we're drawing for the turn. And they Bobble us. Yep. How neat. Swift Spear. Bobble, Seal, kill their Swift Spear, hit them for... Yeah, that's better than the myth realized. We will, however, go ahead and shock in the sacred foundry. Seal of fire. Yield to the prowess triggers. Two damage. Bobble cast. Do this. Hit opponent for three, and we've got a four-four in the in our pocket. Let's see what they're drawing. So, a catacombs. They play a swamp. They choose to play a goif. Okay. Goif is a 4 5. We draw a card off of Bobble. We draw a card for the turn. Ooh. Play Bobble. Stack our triggers. Go ahead and animate. Let's go ahead and crash through here. Sorcery has not been put into the yard yet, which is awkward. Because I did just grow the goif, but we hit a second bobble. Swing with our 6-6 six, six Trampler. When it does not block. Alright. See what opponent's drawing. A Thought Seize. Well, that's awkward. Death's Shadow. Lightning Bolt. Okay. So they played out the fetch land. We get a draw, we get a draw, we get a draw. All right. Animate the myth realized, go here. Go ahead and sack that for a mountain. Red, red, metamorphose, float, red, white. There we go, metamorphose.
Doesn't matter how you block with this shadow. You die, opponent. Unless you have push. Cool. E, e path 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 um grift isn't awful darts are bad We'll do it, too, too. So this is Jun Death Shadow. I don't know. It didn't reveal Alurus. So we'll just treat it like it's Jun Death Shadow. Okay. Submission has been received. I'm assuming they'll take the play here. Reveal Luris, and this is a snap keep. He shocks it in. Doesn't do anything with the shock, though. We will fetch and shock. Myth realized. Bubble. Bubble. See what opponents are drawing. They're drawing a death shadow. Neat. Oh no, opponent. Oh no. Advantage. Go here. Um. We'll poke. Okay. I'm gonna say just because I want to get this myth realized out of bolt range. All right. Habit and another light up the stage. Okay, if we don't swing yet, we're fine. Let's see what opponent's drawing. Hey, they're getting a swamp.
Add it. Hmm. Oh, goodbye. Light up the stage number four. We're doing this just to get the draw. Okay. And that should be lethal. Like, so they dismember that, and they go to 13. Thirteen ain't lethal, bud. They have the push. Well, see, this is awkward now, opponent. Because push says destroy. What if I make my permanence indestructible? Eight. Actually, ten, twelve, dig, dig. Hmm. First Death Shadow, second Death Shadow. I'll just have this EE sitting for if they ever try to kill me. <laughs> I can take eight once. Swift Spear, okay. Bobble. Pretty sure I can kill you on the crackback.
Let's say there's no black spell that I'm afraid of that can hit us for four. Neat. Ouch. Make opponent think we had the spectacle for it. Cool, cool. And we are 2 0 with that. We won the die roll. We will gladly take it. We'll play out the Lurus. And a one lander. But. It is a Swiss Spear Myth Realized Hand. We'll risk it this once and show why you should never keep one landers ever. Mm, Forest Utopia Sprawl? Okay, we're facing Ponza. One landers are going to be awful here. So now we have to play the game of Blood Moon or Land Destruction. Because if it's Blood Moon, we'll never get a chance to replay this myth realized. If it's Land Destruction, we'll never get a chance to play anything again. But we'll go with the myth realized. Not like it matters, because if it's Blood Moon, we can't animate it ever. Well, we can. We have Manamorphose. So they shock it in. Let's see. Blood Moon? Village. Okay. Haha. -ha. Let's go ahead and get a basic mountain here. Then cast with spectacle. Okay. So we hit up our we hit our second land, which is great. Unless they have second pillage. Okay, they're just bolting the Swiss Sphere into a Clothus. Okay. Sacred Foundry, shock it in. We'll go ahead and animate. We've got a 2-2 two -two Trampler, boys. So this eats probably Swiss Spear. Eats the crash through. Okay. Elf. Blood Moon. Okay. Shh. 
shouldn't have done that. Because now if we hit a land, this is just an exile effect. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. Meaning that they want five mana for something here. Or they want to stomp. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven. We can hit for 14. Elder Gargaroth. Lothus is online. We get hit for four here. We're dead on board. Go ahead and always yield to the soul scar mage. We can go white for red, Manamorphose again. Hmm. Okay. So they go with the make a beast plan. That's fine. Go with the bolt the beast plan. An opponent for four. Turns off Colothus. And we'll see what opponent's drawing. The land. Let's go. Okay, they eat the bobble, that's fine. We go down to seven, they go up to 13. Ooh, they had a pyromancer. We'll go ahead and concede to that. Okay, we're facing Blood Moon-esque deck. Go ahead and take out the myth realized. That's not really being online.
We didn't have any planes. Read. This is artifact or three damage. I don't really have anything that we want to bring in. As much as I want to sideboard, we don't really have a sideboard for the office matchup. Which is actually really awkward. Mulligan, no quick threat. Mulligan, too many lands. Keep, it's a one lander, however, so we're not happy about it. Pitch that, pitch that. Say done, main phase one, vantage, swift spear, combat one. That, shock it in, bolt the bird. Yep. Land? Not land. We'll go ahead and play out the Soul Scar Mage then. Wind Swept Teeth goes and grabs the Basic Forest and then probably puts Utopia Sprawl onto the Basic Forest using the Stomping Ground and then. What? Elf? Stomp. Okay. Opponent, I like my creatures. Can I keep them? Reconnect, cast this with spectacle. Mutagenic and a Sunbaked Canyon. All right. Okay, so they play out the Bone Crusher. And they play an Arbor Elf. Fun cards. Myth realized. We'll take two. Bone Crusher goes away. Combat Bra, I'm assuming Elf Blocks. Yep. Since it's going away anyway, we'll go ahead and cast it to increase our Myth Realized. They now have five. What's coming down on five? Gargaroth? Yep. So if we animate, combat, swing, if they block, we can give Myth Realize double strike, trade our Myth Realize for their Gargaroth. 
And then they have a 3-3. Three, three. The problem is, what if they have another one? Just wait. How are we down five minutes? This opponent plays fast or we play slow. Okay, there's a Clothus. Not exactly what we want to be seeing. Swings with the Gargaroth. Gains three. What could opponent have? Let's find out. And then... I'm gonna say, because while that gives us enough toughness, so we lose our myth, realize we take three, but that gets rid of the Gargaroth. Crash through, draw ourselves another card. Seal of fire. Smack opponent for three. They get to eat a card from our yard. Gaining themselves some life. Oh, oh no. What do they have that's six mana? Six mana Chandra? Seven mana? Or do they just want Blood Braid plus a three drop? Oh no. Blood Moon hurts. Red, 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 into Pyromancer. What a hit. So this is eight. Destroying there. Put some both out. Yep. Uncastable card. Eats our seal of fire. Makes sense. Five mana. Torch of Defiance. Okay. Okay, Arasta. Yeah, that's a card. See, I'm wondering... It's like, I'm losing this game no matter what at this point. Why would you not just down tick my thing? Hit me for six. Because then you have lethal. All right, 2-1. Ponza is never a fun matchup for us. See you guys in match four. There we are. We lost the die roll, sadly, but that's all right. We'll reveal this Luris. 
Um, two lands. It's got a Swift Spear start. We'll keep. It's got two redraws as well. Opponent wished us good luck. Had to tell him on YouTube. All right, they're bobbling themselves. Delta fetch. Please don't tell me this is Death Shadow. Here's the thought sees. What? 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 You didn't get destroyed by a thought sees? And they had the push though. That's fine. Definitely the Grixis Shadow. We'll go tapped boundary past turn. Hmm. Bloodstained Mire. Hmm. Habit. <laughs> Let's see if we can't hit our land drop. Mentor or Swiss Spear. They fetch. They shock. They fetch. They shock. Okay, looks like a snap push. Good try by opponent there. This will push gets eaten there. They keep their snap alive. Okay. Opponent's now at 11. They swing with the snappy boy. We're not going to block. Show me a shadow. Okay, currently a 4-4. Four, four. Still a 4-4. Four, four. We can't deal with two 4-4s, four, four, so, but... Now can we? So, redraw, redraw. Bolt. Dart. Seal, dart. We need another damager. We got some digging time though. There we go. Wait, they're at nine. These are all instants. We can go Seal of Fire because it's an enchantment. Yeah, 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 mana loss, I know. 
Don't hold Abbott back. Okay, they push Abbott out of the way. Do they have the battle rage? Because this is only 10, 11, 12. Ouch. Oh, they didn't shock. It's only 12. I go to four. Culture. 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 <laughs> okay. Facing shadow we want engineered. It looks to be just Grixis, so I'm tempted to do these Tormod scripts. <laughs> just as a way to deal with Angler. At the same time, we could also not and just bring in paths. Take out the cards that are bad, like darts, just a bit of ping. We can take out two dart and then mutagenics. Go like that. Not opposed to it. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a Lurus of the Dream Den. And the one lander. I don't want to keep one landers. We'll keep this one though, because it's got a Redra. Bottom charm, I guess. Hope they don't have the turn one thought sees. We'll go ahead and fetch and shock. Red soul scar. drawing bobble uh, they were I guess they didn't want that bobble okay they got a snow covered swamp we draw two there we go swiss spear Land. Okay. They push the Soul Scar Mage. They take one. Which is exactly what we were planning on. Does that and to light up the stage. Okay. Neat cards. Thought sees. Sure, take a bolt. Takes an abbot. Interesting choice.
So... Three, six, nine. He'd knock him down to six with a bolt. Well, that sounds nice. I don't like it. We'll ping for one. Aether gusts. Okay. We'll put the card on top. Okay, they're drawing another Aether Gust. How neat for them. Spell Bomb, sure. Instantly cracks a spell bomb, exiling our graveyard, drawing themselves another card. Yep. Now they don't have the mana. for one knock him down to 14 we've got him dead on board They're dead if they don't have anything. They have a stubborn denial. Okay. Prowess still happens. Combat still gets to go. You take nine. Go down to two. Has snap to snap push. Blocks another one. Okay. Pushes one, blocks one, and goes down to eight. You have the shadow. No, but I know that you have gust. So they can gust this, take four. Okay. They gust the Swiss Spear, which we'll go ahead and bottom at this point. Opponent goes to two. I should have cast with Spectacle. Oh, well. Brutality goes with minus two and drain. Okay. Let's crack that jar ourselves a card. 
There we go. Pass turn. Opponent's empty handed. Myth realized. Pass turn. Inquisitions. Okay. Always yield. Go ahead and put a lore counter on it. As the push. Okay. Death Shadow is a 9 9. We've got a two turn clock. Soul Scar. They can't really swing with this. They do. We're not going to block it. You either have it or you don't. Second shadow. Boros Charm, where are you? Not where we need it. Okay, doke. Um, there might have been a point where we could have played Luris there that I wasn't thinking. But. You know, it's one of those you go so hard down the line. I think there was a turn there where we didn't do anything. We could have put Luris into hand. If we had done that, then we would have been fine. But they were holding the Inquisition. Man, would you look at that? A hand's filled with gas when there's no lands. Um... We'll keep bottom of Metamorphose just because this does turn into Foundry. And then we go and Bolt light up the stage. Unless they have turn one counter spell. Oh, wow. Double Bobble. Bobbles themselves. Scalding Tarn. We'll go ahead and give them information if they want it. Doesn't change anything. Okay, they pass on information. Bolt opponent. Try to light up the stage. Okay. Uh, 
so next turn we'll have soul scar mage soul scar mage bobble well they have push Go ahead and yield to those triggers. Opponent pushes one. Opponent fetches. And they shock, meaning I'm assuming that we're going to get second push. We play out the second bobble. Sorry, we get more redraws because we need to find another threat or another land. Thoughtseize is what they draw. Not great for us. Anglers. Okay. What are they drawing next? Stubborn Denial? Okay. Meantime, we're going to draw three. Land this. Does it does change the clock ever so slightly. Wait, they have Thoughtseize. Putting Lars into hand is just stupid. When we know that they have a Thoughtseize. We know they have Thoughtseize, we know that they have Stubborn Denial. We're never gonna get there. Meaning we're gonna go 2-2! Two, two. Then we get to see if this final match will be a 3-2 or... Ending the night at a... Four, six. Okay, there goes the Thoughtseize, which is good for us. Problem is it's Thoughtseize into, I'm assuming. Oh, what? Nothing into? What? Snap thought sees. Well, I can't say we shouldn't have gone for it. I was gonna say, I mean, at some point you just have to take that risk. And with the angler out, we really needed. So we can do that. We hit a crash through. I mean, we can redraw a couple of times, but... Eh, it might be enough. I mean, it's not enough enough, but... Crash through, draw a card. Then we get the bolt. Knock him down to seven. And they take the block. They go to four. We just need... Two cards off the top. We go down to three. We know that they have the stubborn denial. We 
land, not like it matters. Abbott comes down as a blocker. Myth realized. Yeah, 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 I know that you have the stubborn denial. The reason I was playing the card was to take you down to one. As the push. Okay. You have to block with Abbott. Meaning we need Bolt or Dart. Not that. Because we can animate, we can put counters on. Dang. Boros Charm off the top. <sighs> Let's go out on our own terms. Unfortunate that we weren't able to get there. But hey, it happens. Let's see if match number five will end in a league victory or a league defeat. Okay, we're facing some fellow. Very apt name. Um, hand's a little land heavy, but it's got a Soul Scar Mage and a Swift Spear and a Light Up the Stage. So I think that this hand's keepable. Opponent mulligans to five. Making me think Tron. Not Tron. Definitely not Tron. So they can either take our payoff or take one of our threats. What the take is up to them. Makes sense. I mean, you don't want to take the one early. Moto freaked out for a second there. 
Love it, it's a real good draw because it allows us to ping and light up the stage before, or they'll have the thought seize. Are we facing rack attack? That's my guess. They take the light up the stage, makes sense. Go ahead and just throw this card into the yard. Take opponent down to 13. There's the push. Next turn, we'll be able to put Luris into hand. Let's see what they're drawing. See if we can get some information here. Okay, Luris. Makes me think this is like Buffy Wolf's Skelemental build, and they're just getting whiffed on lands. They kept a one-lander and are getting punished for it. Okay. Go ahead and put Luris into our hand. Hope that they don't have the discard spell. Okay, there's a bobble. Sweet, no discard. I should have cracked that. Oh well. White, white, one, Luris. And let's go ahead and get back out this Soul Scar Mage. And they go down to nine to kill the Luris. We have a Soul Scar, we have him dead. Unless they have a way to kill this soul scar. It's still on one land. Unfortunate for your opponent. Kind of feel bad that this is how we're going to win. At the same time. Kind of don't. Swift spear. Love it, aren't you? Okay. So they take one, we cast light up the stage, we would hit. Oh gosh. Yeah, that was over. Okay. Um Looks to be some form. If I had to guess, it's a rack attack type deck. Or not rack attack, but kitty skeletal. Um. We'll bring in Tormod script. I don't remember how many red that a list like this would typically run. You've got your. Two to three Kroxas, you've got Lightning Skelemental, you've got Thunderkin Awakener and the Trample Dude, you've got Bolts. 
there's there's enough to warrant maybe firewalkers if this is the list that i'm thinking it is if it's not then no we probably don't want it so thinking of an obscure list to try to face off against until proven that that's the list they're on i don't think we want to do that we'll cut a dart Start and a stage. And uh, we'll cut a dart in the mutagenics in exchange for the toy mod scripts. I just have a feeling that they're some form of. Skelemental. Okay, not terrible. Problem is, they're on the play. If we mulligan this, like if we keep and this gets taken out, then we have to crash through to try to find an answer. If we mulligan, we might not have a second threat in hand we'll keep since it's got two lands okay we'll lead off with the soul scar mage sure they might have the push whatever we can't play around push all day In fact, I kept a non-one lander. Maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. Second land has been played. Crash through because it's a sorcery and a redraw. Hmm. Sure. They fetch for water grave. Grixis Kitty Shadow? Is that what we're facing? In four color. Tis a goif. We have sorceries in the yard. It's funny that we can keep it, so it's only sorceries in the yard. Go there. Keep it as a 2-3. Go there at their face. Make it a Opponent kind of sort of has to block. Unless they want to go to one. Take them to three, pass the turn. Dead. 
Death Shadow, sure. You've got yourself a 10-10. Problem is, a 10-10 doesn't block three creatures. Cool. There we go. Beat four color shadow because they kept a one lander and then. All right. Not quite what we wanted to do. But hey, we'll take it. So overall, I'm not overly impressed with this version of the deck. I like the myth realized. That was very fun, but I never really had a shot to use Luris. The meta doesn't just quite seem grindy enough right now. It's not bad. What I think I'd like to do is remove the Luris package of Luris and these baubles and bring back the two of Bedlam Reveler and the two of... Um, Monastery Mentor. I feel like that could be a really fun list. We might try that later on in the future. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next video.